Oh, hey, I'm back. Anyways. Doom Delta. Doom Delta is basically a gameplay mod that takes a bunch of concepts from the Doom Alpha and puts it into modern Doom. So basically think of it as if Tom Hall never left it. This mod adds in new weapons, new monsters, and four new playable characters. So enough rambling, let's just hop right in, shall we? Doom Delta has a ton of customizability. To customize stuff, all you have to do is click Delta Options in the main menu. Now you can simply just edit visuals, gameplay, or even use the debug mode. Let's talk about visuals first. First, there's the HUD style. You can pick either Helmet, which is based on the Helmet HUD that you can see in the Doom version 0.3, a Fen Bar from version 0.3, or the status bar that's from Doom 0.5. Of course, there is a fourth HUD, which is just, you know, the full screen HUD that GZ Doom has. There's HUD options, which is primarily for the helmet HUD, but I'll go over them. Basically, you can change the mouthpiece from default to lowered, so, you know, you can see your weapon more. If you also want, you can turn off the mini map that's on the helmet HUD as well. Then there are bullet casings, which is pretty self-explanatory. Have it on if you want to see bullet casings come out of the weapon, turn it off if you don't. Then there's alpha skies. Enable it if you want skies to look like shit, and turn it off if you want it to look normal. Note that this only affects the first three episodes of Doom 1. So for instance, this won't work with any of the final Doom levels, Doom 2, the master levels, nor even Thigh Flesh Consumed. Then lastly for visuals is retro scaling. Basically, it makes it so if you want it to look like you're playing it with a CRT filter, then go ahead. Honestly, I don't really see why anyone would want to use this when you can use something like Vanilla Essence or something. Next is gameplay options. We're going to be talking about the enemy options last and the characters later. So let's get into score items. Score items basically just give you items that will up your score, which is pretty freaking useless. If you turn it on, it will replace all the armor bonuses, and if you turn it off, it will give you all the armor bonuses again. Next is debug mode. This basically just enables important developer messages, so don't even bother with it. However, I do recommend poking the eyes, but I'm gonna let you do that. Okay, with that finally out of the way, we can now actually talk about the enemy options. First up, there is appearance for the former human and the former sergeant. This basically allows you to put a helmet on either one of them. Or if you want, you can even have a random, where basically you'll give them a helmet, or it'll not give them a helmet. Yeah, not that interesting. So let's talk about the lost soul down here. First, you can change its appearance from the retail version to the one you can see in the alpha. Then, you can change how it attacks. The default attack for the mod is called Delta. Basically, it shoots its own projectile instead of being its own projectile. Then there's Retail, which is basically it being its own projectile. Then there's Alpha. And also, did you know, in the Alpha version of Doom, Lost Souls were apparently supposed to be hitscan. And that's what Alpha is based on. So basically, if you want Lost Souls to be more fucking annoying, then be my guest. Note that this will also affect the pain element. But other than that, let's talk about the new enemies. First up are these machine gun guys. They're basically just Wolfenstein Nazi SS, just given new sprites to look like a former human. Despite him being in the game, it doesn't replace like the chain gunner or something, because, I mean, well, you still got the chain gun in the game, which we'll get into in just a second. Speaking of Wolfenstein, there's the German Trooper, which replaces the Wolfenstein SS. These are basically just former humans, just reskinned again. Except, I do think that they move a little bit faster. I don't know. Alright, now the last enemy is... Uh, wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, Jesus! This thing here is the Blob. This was a cut enemy in Doom 1, where basically it will just spawn the Lost Soul when you're least expecting it. Despite these enemies going unused, their textures were used for the Pain Elemental, which is uh, fucking worse than this. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's talk about the weapons and the characters. Let's quickly go over the characters. First is Lorley Chen. She is the fastest out of all four characters, primarily on her base speed and increased fire rate for most weapons. 
Excluding the power weapons, of course. There's John Petrovic, which is basically the most balanced character out of them all. There's Dimitri, who's a beefy motherfucker, being able to resist direct and explosion damage, though he is very slow. Then lastly, there's Thee. Thee is fast, but she's also fast at dying. Technically, there's also a fifth character. To activate the character, all you gotta do is go to the Delta settings and turn off the four playable characters, and you'll just be able to play as Doom Guy, who is... You know, fucking Doom Guy. All these characters even have custom sounds for getting hurt, interacting with things, and dying. However, for this review, I'm just gonna be playing as Doom Guy. Alright, first up for the weapons is the rifle, completed with a bayonet. This is basically just a faster firing version of the pistol, except its accuracy is way better than the pistol because. I mean, look at that shit right there. Pressing mouse 2 will make you jab the bayonet into your enemies. However, I do think they do it a bit too slowly. I mean, Jesus, I can do it faster. Look at this shit. Next is the shotgun. Despite it acting the exact same like the retail shotgun, it uses its work in progress sprays, which I'd say is a nice touch. Same goes with the Super Shotgun, where it uses its shitty work in progress sprays. It's so shitty, in fact, you can literally tell that it just uses an edited version of the shotgun sprites. Although, I really do like that all black video. Next is the machine gun. It's just the chain gun, just edited. Yeah, that's about it. Speaking of the chain gun, the chain gun. The chain gun now has a slow wind up while also firing at the same time. It also shoots two bullets per shot now. The rocket launcher is the exact fucking same. Then there's the plasma rifle, which now shoots green and red plasma shots. The next weapon is somebody's hand that they used to jack off. The weapon is actually known as the Dark Claw. It actually does originate from the Doom Bible. The weapon is basically like a railgun, but not a good one. Both this and the last weapon use its own ammo type called Souls. You can only obtain souls from human-like enemies. Basically, former human, former sergeant, chain gunner, and machine gunner. Though the only human enemy that you apparently can't get souls from is the Nazi trooper. Which, I guess that makes sense because, you know, they're fucking Nazis, they killed a bunch of Jews, but, I mean, I want to use their pathetic souls for something. Anyways, before people start getting mad at me, let's talk about the BFG. Specifically, in this mod, it's called the BFG 2704. Not really sure why I read it like that. This makes the BFG act like how it worked in earlier versions of shooting 40 projectiles instead of shooting one big projectile and shooting out a bunch of invisible tracers. Also, the ZDoom forums page says at the end that you'll bust a nut so good you'll take yourself to Red Lobster. I don't know what the fuck. Anyways, the last weapon is the Unmaker. What the fuck is this? Yep, the Unmaker was originally gonna be in Doom 1, not Doom 64. Though this acts completely different from the one you see in Doom 64. It shoots out four homing, uh, soul projectiles, I guess. They home onto an enemy, and it's really overpowered. You can shoot three of these, and it'll kill a spider demon in, like, seconds. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Before we go, we still have to talk about the items. Yep, Doom Delta has a few new items. So let's just quickly go over, and we can show off some gameplay. First up is this Chaos Field. It looks like a diamond, basically. What it does is that if you're around more than one demon, it'll cause them to all aim twice. However, if you're just around one, it'll do absolutely fucking nothing. Then there are the shields. There are four individual shields that will give you these protections. Heat, bullet, melee, and energy. These will protect you from the set attack from enemies, though getting attacked from enemies will bring down the durability. Also, just having it activated while it doing nothing, it will also degrade it. Alright, with all that said, let's get into some gameplay of it. For the gameplay, we're going to be playing on a level in a megawatt that I'm making. Am I only doing it because I'm pretentious? Yes.
Now, is this mod good? Yes, you fucking dumbass. Honestly, this is one of my favorite mods out there currently. If you want to download this mod yourself, I'll put the ZDoom forums link in the description below. But other than that, that's it for the video. Honestly, it feels pretty good to come back. And now, since I have a VR headset, I can do more than just Doom videos. Maybe I'll make a video on H3 VR, the VR gameplay you just saw earlier. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.